Bugs. Probably change my stance to the warrior stance. For the area ability. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes I wonder if initiating you is the right thing to do. What do you mean? Am I not ready? No, you're ready, Zachariah. With that, there is no doubt. I worry about you and care for your happiness. Once you become a Technomancer, there's no going back. You lose your freedom. From the moment our abilities are brought into the light, to the moment the light is snuffed from our eyes, the Technomancers are nothing but pawns on a chessboard. We have no free will. Abundance forces its will on us. But I think about the future. How hard it will become as the ASC rises in power. And perhaps I'm just being paranoid. Forgive your master's little spell. You must focus on more important things. Hey, Shadow. Uh, yeah, Technomancer. Is it showing wrong? Um, just start playing it myself. It looks really good. Um, so far, it definitely has a very um, Mass Effect feel to it. But so far, this so door. good. It is the same as that in our chapel. Accessible only to the combined energies of two Technomancers. It's in great condition. What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? Knowledge, Zack. The very essence of knowledge, even. You poison. Or something. Creature does not belong here. The very presence is a danger to the relics. We must seek out their origin. I remember well the first time I came here. I was fascinated. I really thought I was part of an elite. I've become disillusioned since then. If all this knowledge indeed gives us some sort of power, we are still faced with so many obstacles that we can't do anything with it. It's more of a danger for us than a tool. over there. Activate it and heed its words. We'll heed its words. Witness registration, March 17th, 2076. Subject 12. The subject appears acclimatized, pulse elevated but steady, unaffected by any visible health concerns. James, how do you feel? Great! So alive! My heart's racing and I feel like I can take on the world. And it's, and I'm being honest here, it's a bit overwhelming. Subject self reporting is consistently substantiated with our measurements of healing other subjects, all of whom produce EEGs indicating activity levels acutely higher than any ever associated with a human not subjected to mutation. The only adverse side effect, it appears, is the near tenfold increase in corporeal and cerebral electricity. Dangerous levels that will necessitate the urgent invention of a device capable evacuating such surplus in order to avoid subject injury. This man 
talking about technomancy, about mutations, as if... I can't believe. And yet it still might be so. This recording dates to the first settlers. Speaks of the first technomancers. Shocking, perhaps? Where did you think our abilities came from? A divine power? I don't... but... We have no physical signs of mutation, and I don't know any mutant that has our gifts. And why should any of those things matter? Might not our mutation simply be of a different form? This brings us to the most important point. What you have seen unifies us. Unifies the Technomancers. This secret must be kept from all other humans. If this information was discovered by, say, the ASC, we would become nothing but slaves. Our situation is already incredibly undesirable. We are not only isolated, but used as human bombs. Take a walk by the mutant pen in the slums one day. That is what our lives could have been. Don't be dismayed. I have been through this as well. So have all the other Technomancer officers in abundance. Knowledge of this revelation makes you one of us now. More so than your skills. But now is time to deal with the creatures infesting the dome. It would be a real shame if the installations here are damaged, for we will no longer be able to hold initiation trials here. Yes. Yes, of course, Master. I haven't found an opening yet, so... Well, they must have breached lower in the dome. Then that's where we must go. I will divert the attention of these creatures. At the base of the dome, you will find their entry point. To have swarmed here, they must have dug a passage. I'm on it. All right. Level four. Another skill point. So we're gonna continue in the rogue. Critical hit eight percent, or damage done by ten percent. Oh, this is here. That is cool. Let's just keep going down. And now we have enough for agility. with a new uh, weapon now. Cleaver. Nine percent defense. Find out what is behind the sand hopper invasion. Alright, next mission, here we go. I need uh, metal components, it looks like. I wonder if later on you can break things down, but I have no idea.
feel like I'm playing a Star Wars game. Person I've seen. babies.
It's not a bad start to the game. This is pretty good. I'm rather enjoying it. to the secret with your own eyes, who knows in your heart of hearts that the revelation that he bears is true, and who has understood that this knowledge could cast us into endless pits of despair. As you drink the sap of the world, the water that feeds our lives, abandon the one you thought you were, and instead become our brother, Zachariah Manser. Together we have shared the water and secret. Can you swear to forever protect the knowledge of the Earth and to dedicate your life to finding it again? To defend and protect our secret, even with the sacrifice of your life, if need be? I swear. Then welcome, my brother. cult on Mars I know you must be troubled by what you've learned and I assure you that it's no less troubling to me but be proud of what you are and know no matter what we are by your side and that this initiation as horrid as it may be makes you forever our brother. You showed the courage of lions beneath the dome, and for it you have been made an officer. So I imagine, now that you no longer need my guidance, they will send me elsewhere with the great and endless pride of having been your teacher over these few years. The honor was mine, Master. No, not Master. It's just Sean now. Go. Take your assignment as an officer. Count the blessings you've amounted. Those that allowed you to avoid the front thus far. Captain Eliza is waiting in the barracks. She's harsh, but fair. But before you find her, we all know the regulations. Technomancers get no leave from the front in times of war. So being here, I can't even sneeze without a report being written up. But you, you have a free pass. I need you to go to the exchange district for me. There's an itinerant merchant there who was supposed to arrive yesterday. Just meet with him. The merchants have no ties to abundance and travel among us like shadows. They hear things, whispered things, and pay people to forget they are there. I'm looking for information on any archaeological discoveries that could expose the Earthlings. Information that would help protect our secret. Ask him if they've heard of any such finds. Yes, great master, as you wish. Good, Zachariah. But take care that not a single soul knows what you're after. Not a single soul can hear your exchange with the merchants. Wanana!